Today we'll be discussing how to be a champion. So with the NBA and NHL seasons wrapping up, new champions are being crowned. It's time to look at your own lives. Are you a champion? Well first, you have to define what a champion is to you and what it means in your current life. I was born just in the outskirts of the everyone gets a blue ribbon era. That doesn't mean you're not a champion. It just means you might need to redefine what a champion is. Most likely you're not participating in the NBA or even WNBA championships. Let's go Lynx! So let's find out what you need to be celebrating in your life to become a champion over the next few months. Number one, set goals. Many people forget the most important thing when embarking on a new fitness journey or their current fitness journeys become stale. Goals. Without planning where you want to go, you're aimlessly wandering around without a current plan or an end to a mean. You need to understand what you want to accomplish so you can train to do so. Think of the NBA players. They go into the season knowing that their goal is to win an NBA championship. So they train in the off season to do so. So what is your goal? What are you training for? Is it life? Is it a 10K, a half marathon, a mud run, or maybe just overall health? The more specific you are, the better your program will be. Number two, celebrate your victories. When you reach your goal, celebrate it. If you wanna lose two pounds in a week, congratulate yourself and be proud of what you've done. I'm as guilty as anyone of forgetting to celebrate those little things that in the end help you stay focused and reaching those goals. Remember the journey of your goal is, should be half the fun, as that is where you'll be spending most of your time. So when you reach that landmark goal, celebrate! You can celebrate by buying a new pair of tennis shoes, buying an outfit, going on a trip, taking a weekend away to a cabin, or just going to a favorite healthy restaurant. Tip three, try an advanced workout. Get out of your comfort zone and try something a little more challenging than you might be used to. If you have always trained for a 5K, try a 10K. Maybe instead of just a 5K, you do a mud run this year. What is something you can do to make your workout more advanced or a little more challenging than what you're used to doing? If you've been running all summer, try to get a weightlifting session in. If you haven't been running, try and do some intervals or cardio of some sorts. Step four, push yourself. If you're working out but not breaking a sweat, you probably need to up your game. You should be breathing a little heavy during your workouts. If you don't push yourself, you probably won't change yourself. Results come when pushing yourself. Now, not every workout needs to be a sweaty, heart-pumping workout, but sh you should have at least half of your workouts be challenging. If you're more advanced, you'll probably have more three-fourths of your workouts sweating, challenging, and difficult to do. This is how you reach those championship dreams. Step five, figure out your end game. Finally, figure out what your end game is. Are you looking to run a 10K, a half marathon, Maybe join a new tennis league. What do you ideally want from your workouts to make you a champion? The longer you set your goals out, the more likely you will be to achieve them. If you want to run a half marathon, you can't start training two weeks before the event and expect to do well. This can also lead to injuries and illnesses. I highly do not advise it. If you know you want to try something a year in advance, start modifying your workouts early so you can achieve those dreams. Hopefully one or more of these tips will help you regain your confidence and motivation to start working towards your championship. If you like this vlog, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, sign up below for our bi-weekly newsletter. Until next time.